Let's kick this shit. You hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all right, let's kick it over to you. Let's see if you can open up this thing. Hey guys, this is Zach and Nicole from Flippin' Out Pinball. That's actually pretty good. Nicely done. And we're here with some exciting news. Woo, like she's pregnant again. No. No, not. Um, actually, we are announcing that we are selling arcade machines. Is that what this is? Yes. I thought this was another pinball machine that I can open up. This is actually Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. Oh, very nice. Yep. And You've we're actually going to start selling all the Raw Thrills oh, games. Man, Team Raw Thrills over here flipping out pinball. I'm excited about that. What's your favorite Raw Thrills game? Probably Walking Dead. That's a badass game with the crossbow and the shooting mm -hmm. the zombies and stuff. This thing's got zombies on it too. The new Reloaded uh, Big Buck Hunter has like zombie deer, it's got a mode of Terminator Salvation, that's your, you love some Terminator. Yeah. Um, the monsters, uh, it's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and then there's the new bow hunting. Oh yeah, you like the, the bow oh, hunting pretty cool. on this model. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna be doing all of that. Even the uh, Jurassic Park, the driving one, bust a move, you're shooting up in the air, cruise and blast, have a couple of those linked up and beautiful. Halo, you name it straight down the middle, it's going to be, uh, gonna be reviewing it, giving first impressions on it. Nicole and I will be doing unboxings with Flippin' Out Pinball. We're going to cover all of the cool arcade games. Now, on Big Buck Hunter, we're going to do an unboxing. Yeah. But which one is this? I know that there's a couple versions. This is actually the Panorama. Well, Miss Arcade. The Panorama. So we bought our own screen to oh, go with okay. this one. Yes. And then there's the 42 inch that actually comes with your the screen already. Why didn't we get that one? Because we wanted a bigger screen. Oh. To make well, it a little more be bigger. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So yeah, there's two versions of this. R2 agrees. There's two versions. There's an all-in-one 42 inch that comes with the LED lights and you don't have to buy the display because it's all built in. This one is called the Panorama version where you provide your own display and bigger's better. So we purchased, let's see, I'll get this. Okay. We got a, uh, ugh. we wanted it to be just a, a bit more dynamic. So we went with a 55 inch Samsung. Oh, and these yeah. are pretty cheap nowadays. And then you make sure the um, TV had. Um, oh, the the yeah, good point. The, the refresh rate. There's yeah. a if you're going to buy one of these displays for your big buck hunter, make sure you buy one with just good refresh rate or gaming modes on it. That way, it's really smooth rendering whenever you're you're shooting all of those innocent animals. And so also, this is already up on our website, the oh, Big nice. Buck Hunter Reloaded. And then also, if you want to tell them about this. Oh, yeah. Thank God you're here. So, your Escalera is going to be very helpful hauling in your brand new arcade game. But, the, the standard strap on the Escalera is not long enough for some of these games like such. So, we've got this on the website as well. It's an extension strap for your Escalera. I call it the Super Arcade Strap. But it's going to extend... Uh, the, it's going to extend the width on that so you can wrap it all the way around and not have to worry about being a little bit short. So thank you for that. So we're going to have all the Raw Thrills games up here. Straight Down Mill is going to cover everything. It's going to be a blast. 2021, it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. This guy, he, he wants one in his game room. Mm -hmm. Call her. She'll get it. She'll get it. Okay. I think you're going to be Miss Arcade. All right, I am super excited uh, to unbox this thing. Nicole, I'm gonna have you cut the straps, then we're gonna, I think most of it's kind of put together already, but we shall see. Oh, put some muscle in it. Say it with your chest. Do it. See, told you. All right. This box comes in. All right, so it's got a big box here. Um, I'm just not quite following them. <laughs> oh, there's cords attached somewhere. Actually, it's not going to come out here. The uh, guns are attached. Ah. Hold on. Oh, maybe better. Okay, let's get these yeah. off. No, we'll just pull this thing out. Oh, okay. Which way are we going? 
I guess that's one way to do it. They get to learn from our mistakes. Okay, so this is a bar I'm putting tight. Alright, see it's all kind of put together. Christmas morning. Ah, this is like the. All right, I'm gonna show the people what this looks like real quick. So we have the guns, and then this looks like the back glass, right? Yeah, the marquee. All right, so on this piece of paper, it says important. Guns will not function properly if marquee is not placed and connected correctly. Okay, so marquee sits on top of the monitor, not in front and not behind. Front of the marquee sits flush with the front of the monitor. Marquee tab is flush against the monitor face. Must be flush, so they're really they're saying must be flush. Marquee tab is centered within monitor face. Connect IR marquee six pin connector. So that's not bad. Let's check it out. See if you guys can see it. See, it's going to be flush. Must be flush. Look at them exclamation points. They mean business. What do you got there? Hey, I'm going to just. Look, you got the guns. Gun. Look at you. Yeah. Man, this is cool. This is different than pinball. And then, how do we want to do this? So is this separate? Oh man. Very cool. Oh, oh. oh that god. Looks like that's gonna fall. Oh okay. Yeah, it's just that one piece. We'll I'll show them. Oh, this thing is heavy, but look how cool this thing is. So you got the big buck hunter reloaded. That's what I like about the reloaded because it's not just a hunting thing. You got your big buck hunter, but then look, you got your uh, Terminator and monster stuff too. And I think I've got the, I think I got the Terminator topper too to go with the lit eyes. I love this. And then? I'm going to have like every Raw Thrills thing, I think. Oh yeah, TV monitor comes with it. Uh, the stand. That's awesome. Or the mounting. I guess you could even mount this on your wall if you wanted to. I guess. Mm -hmm. Look at that, it's nice. That looks cool. I'm gonna have to show you guys the other side of it because it's got uh, it's got the monsters, it's got uh, Terminator Terminator on there. Oh, that's awesome. With the... Sweet! Oh, it's even got the uh, like a swiper in there. And a bill collector already on? Get out of here. Very cool. And then these, I guess, go like so. Now we gotta find a place for it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the other? <laughs> That's so cool. I can't believe we're about to have a this cool of arcade in our home. That's awesome. Okay. All right, guys. So now you can see uh, the beauty that is this side. I really like the art on uh, this side, and we'll get some zoom-in pics for you soon. But the other nice thing that Nicole and I found out, it's on roller, so it moves around a lot easier than a pinball machine. So I like that. Uh, and then I think that we'll probably find, I'll roll it around here so people can see. It says keys. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in there. There they are.
while Nicole's messing around, I gotta show you guys this thing. How cool is this? Topper, y'all. Look at that. Sweet! This goes on top of it and the eyes light up. And this came in, in the package, so that's awesome. I think for those of you with the HD or the Wild that wanna upgrade to this topper, it's only like 100 bucks. But now that I'm getting into the industry, you'll see these prices go up. <laughs> Cool. Oh, just like a pinball machine. Um, there's some keys in here for the back of the uh, machine, and that's probably where the manual and stuff will be. All right, so I was getting ready to unlock this, but I noticed there's some screws right here and here, so we're gonna have to take these out first. Oh, of course he has that one. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see what's in here. Here's what we need. Okay. The cord here. And the manual. Alright. Looks like there's a power supply in here. Computer. Verizon 4G SIM card. And then you got your bag of goodies that you're gonna need. Built really well. And also you have all your screws and hardware here. And then... It does say on the panorama version, you want to make sure the monitor does not exceed 120 pounds. That'd be rare for it too. So now we're going to go through the cabinet setup that walks us through the cabinet setup um, and getting that marquee up. Purchasing a monitor, it tells you all about that. That's really nice. The pedestal, it walks you through every single thing that you need to know, as well as hooking the system up. What do we got in there? Um, I was going to let you maybe tell them about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you. So we got a USB here. Looks like it restores the software. Okay, if you need to restore. Power cord. Or no, that's the HDMI cable. Simple enough. Hardware to hook up the, the stands. Simple enough. There's our power cord and our game registration for Roll Thrills. And you guys see I get the online version. So we're battling people. If you don't want a bill acceptor, there's the, there's that. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this is just um, bill acceptor stuff. Okay, looks like a lot, but it won't be bad. The stanchion, each of the mounting holes with cabinet bolt holes at the bottom. Center holes should be facing inside of the cabinet. Okay. Nice. Facing the back of the game, route the marquee power cable through the right stanchion. Six pin connector should remain on top. Okay, so. Oh, oh. where'd you put the, uh, the bolt holes go here? Mm -hmm. Do you think it goes down all the way? It looks like it gets caught there, so I'm assuming it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it goes right there. Okay. So the bolt holes at the bottom, and then the center hole there goes on the inside. Boom. And then we're probably gonna mount those there onto that wood. All right, now we have the poles in there. As they said, there's one cable coming out of there. We're gonna route it up through this right one. All right, route it up through there. It'll probably go up more, but we're just gonna do it for there for now. All right, now that we have that routed through, the next step, they want us to run the HDMI and the monitor cable, so that TV screen, we pulled it out of the box, got the power cable from that. We're gonna run that up through the left side. Uh, and also, we're gonna plug in the HDMI right in the back of the computer right there. Easy peasy. Got the HDMI and... You know what would have been easier? If it just went down with it instead of up. No, I'm just saying for people out there that 
you know, instead of fishing it up, you can fish it down. We've got the monitor power and the HDMI routed. HDMI is plugged in. The only thing I've seen, Nicole was saying, that the power cable for our TV may be a little short, so we may need an extension cord or something. We'll see how close it is. All right, so the next step is to secure these to the cabinet. There's a hole on the outside, hole on the inside. We put a bolt through there. Uh, actually, put the bolt through this side, the flat one, so you're, it's not protruding out of the game, right? And then you attach this. The problem we found is that, I guess on some of these, they, they sent the wrong one, so I'm gonna have to go get just a hair longer of this so that it comes out on the outside. So we're gonna do that. Uh, right now, we'll probably put the game together Without securing that, then I'll run to the hardware store to grab some of those. Next, we're going to take the monitor mount and we're going to apply it to this. So, uh, we're going to take off, just like you would be hanging a LCD screen TV on the, on the wall. We're going to essentially take these armatures off to apply it to the back of the monitor. And then we're going to take this plate and we're gonna mount it up here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is take the mounting bracket. Uh, this is for our monitor, and we're gonna put it on to this thing. Now, uh, there's hex bolts, right? And it wants us to use, here's a set of holes here, here's a set of holes here. It says the third one on each. It goes from here to here. Then that one will go from there to there. And then it's got a nylon nut to go on the outside. So we'll do that now. Now, so taking, I think this is a 3 8 Yeah, I think it's 3 8 We're going to tighten this, hold the other end, tighten all four of those. What we did next was took these TV brackets and mounted them onto the TV as you would any regular LCD screen that you're hanging up. The nice thing is that Roll Thrills provides, just like a lot, a lot of your TV adapters, different sizes based on the TV that you're using. So I found All right, so we got the TV mounted. The only thing that Nicole and I had to do differently was wherever we chose these on this mount, this piece right here is adjustable. Two screws here adjusts and holds that into place. Um, it was coming down right on there, so we had to take these off, put the monitor on, and then reapply these to secure it. All right, next step is going to be to take the marquee, and see these things right here? We're just gonna, they're gonna be loose right now until you adjust them, but we're gonna put, place those right on top. Oh, shorty, Nicole. So I got mine. We'll adjust it here in a minute. Just says make sure not to pinch any of the cords. Now this is one of the most important parts of the entire marquee because uh, in here I believe are the sensors for these guns. So it has step by step and we'll walk you through it on where this needs to line up in relation to that monitor. It needs to be hanging just slightly over the edge of it. So we'll do that now and it also gives you a, a indication right here for the center as well. So we're going to work on that real quick. The, here's the part that they're wanting us to pay attention to. This thing can come up, down, front, back, but they want you to take, there's a tab right here in the middle. It's got to be overlapping the monitor, uh, but you want everything else flush with the monitor. So we've got this positioned right now in a way that it's going to sit flush, and then this tab is barely going to go over the monitor as a center point. We've got our depth correct, so it's not overhanging too much, or it's not too, uh, too in-depth, and then we've got height-wise, we'll go back there and adjust it so it's resting right above that monitor. Okay. All right, now from the back side here, we want to make sure that none of these are pinched in that, uh, but there's two bolts here, two bolts here that are responsible for that depth. We're going to tighten those up uh, as well as it'll tighten for, let's see, right there, it'll tighten this whole thing up. The wait 
is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs, and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. Check out Pin Graphics for the latest and greatest in pinball enhancements, power blades, blade skins, pin blades, and even more. Visit PinGraphics.com now to see what's available for your pinball machine. The next thing we're going to do is see these cables for the marquee. We're going to we're supposed to connect them here, but it's opposite, so I'm going to reroute this to the other side and vice versa because my power and my HDMI are over here. On this side, so I'm gonna take those wires and just swap them, reroute them. All right, now that they are rerouted, my power and my HDMI are on the correct side, and this bad boy is on the correct side. I'm gonna take this, clip it in like so. Bam, you're good there. You can always reroute this, hide it, make it nice and pretty like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and I don't know if the instructions told me, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug that power into the monitor as well as the HDMI. So far, a really clean system. All right, I can go back and check all my points to make sure everything is secure, but I think we're set up. Now, again, on the dedicated cabinet, that 42 inch cabinet, you don't have to do any of this. I think uh, they give you instructions just to go through, make sure all the connections are secure and complete before plugging it in uh, and, and testing it all out. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin this sucker around so that you can visually see what it looks like in your game room, uh, and then we'll plug it in and go through the diagnostics on setting the system up. I'm excited. Oh guys, I about, I about forgot my Terminator topper. All right, this is gonna be super simple to install because it's four screws with washers. They're already drilled out in the marquee for you to put them up there. And then see this is just gonna split that signal that we, that we put right here. So we're just gonna split it. Go in one way, boom, out the other. Bam, ba, ba da boom, ba da boom. The only thing that kind of sucks mounting this thing is that Raw thrills, you can't see it, but they used a, a security bit. Raw thrills, security bit on a top? I've already been talking with uh, Raw Thrills, uh, becoming a dealer, about how important toppers are gonna be for me and you. So be expecting Raw Thrills in the future to have really, really cool toppers. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna unclip that. goes there. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, wait, just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world's coolest toy. Ta-da! Would you look at it? So cool. I mean, how badass is this thing? I am gonna love killing some zombie deer. Let's turn it on, calibrate it, and then uh, let's see if Nicole wants to get her ass whooped. Ba, 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 ba. I'll run up on some kids too. <laughs> All right, now that we have it hooked up, we're gonna power this thing on. The power button is in the back of the cab. Once we have that powered on, I'm, I'm certain there's probably some gun calibration that we're going to have to go through, as well as system diagnostics, setup, etc. We're going to go through that together, and then we're going to start shooting some zombies. All right, guys, now down in the cabinet here, there's a couple buttons for volume, and there's some buttons for test. Now it tells us to press test up there, so we're going to press that. Follow the on-screen instructions and shoot the targets to ensure that your guns fire accurately. We can do that. Pull the trigger on the left green gun. All right, shoot the red dot above the monitor. Aim and shoot the target. Got it. 
Left gun has been calibrated. Look down your sight. Press the left green start button if satisfied. I'm satisfied. Right gun. Look down the sights of the guns. Aim the gun back and forth at a steady speed. Press test to skip. The nice thing about this system is it's a brand new TV, so for the most part, I haven't had to calibrate much of anything at all. Choose your connection type. We're going to go with Wi-Fi. Oh, that's cool. Wired. Wireless. Cellular. Let's go wireless. All right, let's go with, let's go there. Aha. Uh -huh. The minis. Bam. You guys aren't gonna see this part. All right, so we entered our password. Now, we're gonna get this thing started. Let's see if it can hook up to the internet. We're in business. It says successful if you guys can't see at home. Connection information has been saved. We can always change that later on, but we are finished. Log in as a registered online operator or create a coin up, a coin up account. Press start to log in. So now we're gonna go to our fancy dancy phone and we're gonna set that up real quick. We gotta be close, right? Baba! This thing is sweet. Boom! Are you Sarah Connor? Mm. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Why'd you you fast forward through this? Connor, get those civilians to the safe house in the movie theater. Don't mess it up. Get him. Reload! 
for flipping out pinball and straight down the middle that's right as well as the pinball network thanks again for hanging out with us this thing is a freaking blast the sound is awesome i didn't i wasn't expecting the sound to be so great graphics uh, i can't wait to get our family and our friends and our kids down here to battle on this thing they're just gonna love this they're gonna love it uh, to pieces now next time hopefully we'll have maybe the walking dead maybe a little halo cruise and blast i'm not sure uh, what's coming up next but the bone and i greg bone is gonna be here it's going to be a lot of fun. 2021 is going to be really big. Hell, maybe we even go to Raw Thrills and take a tour around the factory. That would be a lot of fun. Nicole, if people are wanting to buy this wonderful, beautiful Escalera, an awesome Raw Thrills arcade for their uh, location or their home, I want to see people collecting these things, or a brand new pinball machine, where should they go? Flipping out pinball. That's right. Bye, bye, bye. See you guys later. Bye. You hit it off with a bumper nice straight down the middle again. Nicole, give it a whirl. Talk to the people. See what you got here. Hey guys, Zach and Nicole with Flipping Out Pinball. We're nice. here to. That was good. Announce. What are we going to announce? Something. Something? We're going to announce something new? Alright. I'm excited. Don't stop. Okay, this is Zach and Nicole with Flipping Out Pinball. We're Whoa. here to Yelling announce people now. something exciting. <laughs> How exciting is it? Here we are. This is not a pinball machine. I thought you surprised me with a pinball machine. Nothing? Something a little better. A little better? Yeah, you already pissed off all the pinball manufacturers there. <laughs> we'll start again. <laughs> We're going to start selling some arcade machines. Hot damn. Arcade machines. Yeah. From and from Raw Thrills. <laughs> is that your Raw Thrills? <laughs> Hooray! Raw Thrills! <laughs> Alright, Nicole, kick us off. Talk to these people. See what you got here. Hey guys, it's Zach and Nicole from Flippin' Out Pinball. Damn straight it is. We're here to announce we have some exciting news. Yeah, that wasn't scripted at all. 